hey guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna be making cow foot and beans with gungu peas and rice this is a delicious jamaican dish so first i had my cow foot i did cut them into smaller pieces because as you can see some of them were way too big and then what you're gonna do is you know the vibes wash your meat in vinegar water So now that our meat is being washed, now it's time to get that seasoning. You guys know my go-to seasonings. Onions, green peppers, or in Jamaica we call it sweet pepper, um, a bit of garlic. If you don't have onions, you can use a scallion or green onions. Okay, now it's time to hit that powdered, pa -pa -pa powdered seasoning. <laughs> Guys, I'm in a good mood today. Don't mind me being comical. So we're gonna start with some black pepper. Sprinkle that all over the cow foot. There you go. After that, you guys know my bottles are never labeled correctly, so please ignore the parsley on this next one. This is meat seasoning. Not sure if they have something like this in America. You can buy um, meat seasoning from specific brands, but in Jamaica, this one is unlabeled. It just has a price, so I do not know the company name. This is some Maggie All Purpose Season Up. There you go. Get that in there. And here's an unlikely guest to the party, curry powder. You don't have to do this, but I like my cow food with a little curry flavoring. You're not adding enough for it to be like a curried dish. It's just like to give it spice. So I added like a half tablespoon of curry powder. Then I sprinkled some salt. You might be wondering, why is she putting so many freaking seasonings on the meat? Well, because after this, we're gonna be pressure cooking the meat so we need that extra seasoning you know what i mean we're going to be adding some pimento seeds and in the next clip i'm going to be adding my green onions because i'm just being fancy and then here is what i meant when i said adding it to the pressure cooker so because you're adding so much water you want to ensure that um, your water is well seasoned as well because had i just did regular proportions all of this would have been fresh Now, I know you guys saw me add those peas earlier, right? So I added, I think, two cloves of garlic. I split them in half and I added a tablespoon of salt after it boils for about 45 minutes to an hour because gungu peas takes a good while to cook. Um, you wanna add some, again, escalions or green onions. And then, you know the regular cooking process for Jamaican rice and peas. It's the same thing, just a different pea. So we're adding our coconut milk. Oops, forgot to add the pepper. There you go. <laughs> now look at how my cow foot is looking, guys. Guys, I, you know what? Just to let you know, I didn't have to add any seasoning after this. Sometimes when you pressure cook meat, you have to go ahead and add seasoning again because of that water. But because it was so well seasoned, I did not need to add squat, okay? Except that pepper, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well now this is how our rice and peas is looking I did go ahead and add my rice um, once your coconut milk um, cooks out and it's all liquefied there are no clumps you can go ahead and add your rice I did add a scotch bonnet pepper because that's just how we do it in the Caribbean and then what I'm gonna do here 
is wait till it's boiling and my rice starts to expand. I turn it down on extremely low heat. Oh, guys, the cow foot, the cow foot. We forgot to go back to the cow foot. No, I didn't. I added some extra seasonings because I kind of like to see these things. It's aesthetically pleasing. So I added some more um, sweet pepper and onion. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the broad beans. Please, no butter beans. Butter beans are too soft, in my opinion. So broad beans will do just fine. Go ahead and mix 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 and let it simmer for a while because you want that gravy to be thick Now, Rice, Rice is supposed to be what? What's her name? What's that girl's name? Shelly! Rice is supposed to be Shelly, guys. If your rice is clumpy, it's too soft, and if it's falling apart, it's probably too hard. Now, I felt fancy, and I went ahead and I added this um, mashed potato salad last minute. I have some mixed vegetables, boiled egg, cayenne pepper, um, Irish potatoes, boiled black pepper with a sprinkle of salt, and then I added some mayonnaise and honey mustard, and this is the final result. We had this um, with a movie night. Guys, you guys need to try watching Mortal Kombat. Me and my boyfriend watched Mortal Kombat and it was amazing. Imagine watching a movie with a dish like this. Of course, we had an amazing night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!